And now back to our coverage of the deadly school shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Cub star Anthony Rizzo returned to his team today after meeting with survivors from his alma mater. CBS4 Sports anchor Jim Barry is here now with more on how the shooting has touched the sports world. Jim. Rudeway Anthony Rizzo is back in Arizona, but his heart remains in Parkland. And the same is true for local sports teams who have shown their support in a myriad of ways. I went to Stoneman Douglas. Last Thursday, Major Leaguer Anthony Rizzo was front and center at a vigil for the Stoneman Douglas shooting victims. Today, the Cub first baseman says he left his hometown saddened but inspired. You know, I've, I, I'm really proud to see all what Parkland's doing right now, all the kids are doing, and how they're, they're speaking out and, and trying to make a difference. Rizzo was especially moved by the stories of heroism. His former football coach, Aaron Feist, died shielding students from gunfire. He's a true hero. He, he, he got this monster coming in and shooting up a school, and he jumps in front of kids and saves their lives. And it's just, it's just, you know, it's sad, but it's just, I, I hope he, you know, continues to be recognized for that. Miami Dolphins special teams coach Darren Rizzi was equally moved. He quietly passed the hat at training camp and raised more than $17,000 for Fice's family. Meanwhile, Marlins Alfreda Lewis Brinson, who grew up in nearby Coral Springs, broke away from spring training to visit Matty Wolford and Ben Wickander. Both remain hospitalized from gunshot wounds. Those kids are, are, are warriors. Um, what they've been through and, you know, all the, all the wounds that they have, they have battle scars from being in high school. That's just, you know, that's unheard of and it, it, it you know, needs to stop and something needs to be done about it. The University of Miami this weekend showed its support for Stoneman Douglas. The basketball team wearing t-shirts while the baseball cane sported MSD stickers. The outpouring of support far and wide seems to be getting through. With all the you know, heartache and all the pain that they're going through, I was glad to you know, put a smile on those kids' faces. Brinson says he went to the hospital to give the recovering victims a boost. He left feeling like he was the one who got the lift. I'm Jim Barry, CBS4 Sports.